Good morning, dear colleagues. I'm very happy to welcome all of you. Unfortunately, I cannot be present myself. Now the meeting under the president has started, I think, where we're going to discuss the present situations at the front line in Ukraine. This forum is taking place in a very difficult situation. The presence of our international partners is an important gesture of support to the Ukrainian people. The armed aggression of Russia against Ukraine has affected every citizen of this country, thousands of people who have died, who have been wounded, hundreds of thousands of those who have no roof above their heads, millions of people who had to leave their homes. According to our preliminary calculations in this country, more than 350,000 objects of infrastructure have been destroyed in the country, millions of square meters of the infrastructure thousands of kilometers of destroyed roads, railroads, airports, ports, and many other things. A part of those objects can be rebuilt. Others have been completely destroyed. In Donetsk, Luhansk regions, some towns have been destroyed completely. Mariupol, Volnovakha, Rubizhe, Popasna, Leman, Severodonetsk. A difficult situation is what we see in the occupied communities of Kherson region. Certain communities of Mykolaiv and Zaporizhia oblasts have been destroyed thanks to the armed forces of Ukraine. Today, four regions of Ukraine have been completely liberated from the occupiers. Zhytomyr, Kyiv, Sumy, Chernihiv regions, as well as partially Kharkiv region. In the city of Kharkiv, in the north Saltivka district, before the war, 300,000 used to live. Some part of this district have been completely destroyed, almost completely. We were there last week again with the president. The north Saltivka should be rebuilt from scratch. Building new houses will start as soon as the security the situation will allow us and we will get proper funds. Our common goal after the victory is to rebuild as quickly as possible everything that the Russians have destroyed in this bloody war, and not just to rebuild it, but to create a new, powerful, modern Ukraine with the infrastructure of every community, every town and village would meet the highest European and world standards of quality and inclusivity. Inclusiveness. That's why the president of Ukraine have declared the program of revival of Ukraine and has addressed the leaders of the democratic world to join the rebuilding of Ukrainian communities. During this past month, the experts of the presidential office of the government and NGOs together with the experts of the regional local authorities have been working to develop a plan of revival and modernization of Ukraine. Even now, on the initiative of the presidential office, the work continues with the associations of European cities. For example, we're now to sign a memorandum of co cooperation with Euro cities and other international organizations so that they can join our projects to rebuild our cities and other settlements in Ukraine. And this special situation under the president we have been able to have several online meetings of the presidium of the local and regional authorities under the president of ukraine and it proved to be a very important platform to overcome the problems of the local self-government amid the war that continues and i really want to thank the heads of the communities for their work in this very difficult situation today the forum we have representatives of the congress of the local regional authorities of the council of europe it is this model that we use to create our own Congress of local and regional authorities under the president of Ukraine. Volodymyr Zelensky set up the National Council to revive Ukraine. The main goal of this council is not only to rebuild critical infrastructure in the communities, but to create a new quality of life for our people. In July of this year, we will have a conference in Lugano where we will be discussing the participation of international partners and the rebuilding of Ukraine. Our ambitious goal is to join the European Union. And it is very important for us to have support of our international partners. We want to use all the possibilities to develop effective cooperation with the countries of the democratic world, to engage them in the revival of Ukraine. Because Ukrainians, with their own example of resilience and courage against the Russian occupation, have definitely achieved the right to have this support. Every day, Volodymyr Zelensky 
the chief of staff, Andre Diermak, they have international meetings to engage all international partners in the process of rebuilding Ukraine. And I want to thank our international partners who have already agreed to support us, who are already providing assistance to the Ukrainian communities. We have proved that Ukraine for us is the most important, as we have proved it in the previous years with our other programs showing that we know how to build with good quality. We will definitely win. We will definitely rebuild our country. Glory to Ukraine and glory to the armed forces of Ukraine.